Joey, um, how does the actual crisis uh, differ from the last years in Japan? Um, how does it differ from... Well, it happened much more suddenly because Japan was much more gradual. And Japan is basically denies. They don't fire people. They kind of... Like, so, you know, in Japan you lost half of the value of everything. But the GDP didn't go down. People keep working. Keep, so they don't... It, one way you can say it's kind of stupid. Another way you can say they just kind of stick to it. But they're very stubborn. And so the market doesn't get... Doesn't affect people as much. Um, and the other thing is that the real loss in the Japanese value of the Japanese market was by corporations. So the big corporations lost a lot of their land holding value, but actually the um, individuals didn't lose that much money because individuals actually sold the property to most of the companies. So the, the individuals actually made money um, on bubble and then the big companies took the brunt of the, the hit. And it took, um, and so, so that's, you know, whereas this crisis, the individuals are really in crisis all over the world because their mortgage, so the, so the, the individuals are the ones that are, are suffering, which has a higher impact on you know, consumption and things like that. So in Japan, you know, consumption didn't go down that much and GDP didn't go down that much. It slowed down and started shrinking um, and unemployment didn't increase. And so the, the, the net effect was that to me, actually, I wish it was a harder thing in Japan because we could have caused reform. But because it was kind of gradual and it sort of went back up again, we didn't get the reforms, people didn't restructure, and so in, in effect we didn't get the benefit of the downturn that we should have. Um, I think that any kind of recession and downturn is an opportunity to change things, to change business models, to change the way people think. A lot of industries are created when people are fired. You know, when Silicon Valley was built by fire, fire people, bloggers were all unemployed, smart people, you know. And so I think that uh, you have to take advantage of unemployment because suddenly you have a huge resource of very motivated, um, smart people on the market. Um, so this, I think this, this is, in Japan, it's, it's, it was a very different thing. Um, and, and obviously this is, this is global, which is very different. Um, and so that's, for instance, now it's affecting Japanese exports. And um, so I think you know both Japan and China, which is export-driven, has to really refocus on the internal markets, um, because even if the Japanese economy was terrible, if the U.S. is doing okay, the big companies are fine. You know, and so, so I think there are many differences. You know. The second question comes from Heiko Hebich, and it's: um, What are your favorite vinyl albums? Vinyl albums. Um, so the ones that I, I take very good care of is KLF. Um, I have. Uh, so I have about 2,000 vinyl albums, um, and uh, I have a lot of the old house. Um, I have all of my wax tracks, industrial music, and uh, then I have uh, Razor Maid is a special album for DJs. They had very cool, um, uh, transparent um, and things, colored discs to take care of. But, but I take very good care of my vinyl records.